All right, well, originally I intended to record this with Cam Studio and just upload to YouTube without any commentary, but Cam Studio doesn't seem to, or my computer doesn't seem to like Cam Studio and FCE working together. So, um, this is the ending for the Famicom Disk System game Fire Rock. And let me tell you, I thought Conan on the NES was bad, but this is pretty much Conan released in Japan and 10 times worse. Now, this guy. Some dude named Mark Flynn, I'm pretty sure it's just a Japanese guy's pen name. Um, anyways, he he put his name pretty much all over the game, besides, like, in the levels. There's only six levels, but they're so fucking hard to get through, and I had to, like, hack the game or, like, go through certain walls and stuff just to freaking beat it. Because I couldn't figure it out, and there's no walkthroughs online either. So, I'm going to show you guys the ending, and I hope you enjoy. Um, okay, it's good. Uh, let's see. Trying to find out where... Okay. Hang on, let me put the camera down for a sec. I just gotta jump in this damn door here. Here we go. So see, I had to, like, do a jump cheat there. So anyways, this whole place collapses and, yeah. It does look a little like Kid Icarus, but look at the graphics. They are terrible. Now, to be fair, I probably could do a better job with graphics myself, but I'm a fucking composer, not a graphic artist. Only one guy did this game's graphics, and it, that's really bad. I mean, if you look at Pool of Rains, not to, you know, fanboy this, you know, of my number one game of all time, but if you look at Pool of Radiance on the NES, the graphics were all done by one person, and those are fucking good graphics. I, some people might disagree, but I think they're fucking awesome. Anyways, so then you get uh, ending credits scroll and um, if this thing ever wants to load it will it just takes a while okay here we go oh yeah and the music sucks too and I listen to a lot of shitty video game music and I actually like it but this once you hear the level music in this game like a million fucking times oh my god and yeah it was only programmed by one guy but like have you ever heard of programming a second person or I mean a program yeah I meant, have you ever heard of hiring a second programmer? Yeah, Mark Flint. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's some Japanese dude who just uses that name. There's a lot of people like that, like uh, Cho Kisaishi, for example. And yeah, they spelled his sign wrong, but it's a Japanese company, so I'm going to give them credit for that. Or I'm just going to let that pass. So, music composed, Manabu Saito. Music affection, Kuniko Sakudai. And then you got the special thanks list. These are probably just the game testers. They probably just played it for like one second and. Yeah. Kazuyuki Takasaki. Executive director, Hiroshi. Don't you mean Hiroshi? Isa. Mark Flint presents Fire Rock. Copyright 1988, use Useko, or maybe it is Useko, but I think it's Use, that's how you pronounce it in Japanese, System Sakon Corp. Now, I don't know if you saw it at the beginning, but it says, you know, Fire Rock Part 1 or whatever. I think Fire Bam by Hell Laboratory, it's also a disc system game, I think that was meant as a sequel, but I can't be sure. Probably not, but you never know. And also, how coincidental that there's a NES game called Firehawk. I mean, rhymes with Firehawk. <laughs> Anyways, that game was by Codemasters, but that game was a hell of a lot better than this. Now, to be fair, I heard that some of this Mark Flint dude's other games by System Sacom are actually pretty good, so... Maybe this is just, you know, bad luck or something, but... I'll have to check out the other games, because who knows, maybe I'll like them. Anyways, just thought I'd show you guys a lost ending, like that's never been uploaded online before, so, yeah. Peace out.